In a city far, far away, there was a boy named Tom who was traveling to the planets in his dreams every night. So much so that in order to become a famous and helpful YouTuber, he watched the stars every night with his old and small telescope and produced content for YouTube. One day, Tom came running home and started preparations for the meteor shower that he had been waiting for for a long time. First, he set up his small telescope, which he could buy with the money he had saved for months, in front of his window. He then placed his phone on a tripod to be able to broadcast live. When it was midnight and the clock struck 12, Tom started his live stream on YouTube. Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we will be live with you during the meteor shower. In his live broadcast, he was telling one by one what he could see in the sky. However, the number of follower and participation in the live broadcast was very low. Still, Tom was looking at the sky with all his excitement, using both his telescope and binoculars. Guys, it's very hard to see with the naked eye. There is a feast of light in the sky right now, just like fireworks. After a while, the viewers, who were already very few, left the live broadcast one by one. Tom, whose channel did not reach enough subscribers, was very upset when he saw the viewers stop watching the broadcast. Just as he was sadly removing his tools, a notification sound came from his computer. When he reluctantly turned to his computer, he couldn't believe what he saw. A comment came from Uras Benliolu, whose videos he liked and followed for the live broadcast he just ended. Mom! Dad! Come! Do you remember Uras? He wrote me a comment and said he'd be following my videos. Mother and father embraced their sons with joy. Maybe in the future I can become a very famous YouTuber like him. Tom has been tossing and turning in his bed all night. Now he had to find new content and impress Uras. The next day, he woke up early and went to meet his friends. He was so excited to share Uras's comment with them. But when his friends came, they mocked him for his live broadcast yesterday. There were only five people watching at one time. Were they your relatives, Tom? <laughs> Sorry, but I think you should give up on this dream. Not everyone has to be a YouTuber. Annoyed because they didn't support him, Tom left his friends sadly. At that moment, he had an idea to impress Uras. He quickly went into a library and started looking for something useful. And finally found the Encyclopedia of Sky Sciences he was looking for. I have to catch up with Uras' YouTube broadcast! Tom rushed home with the encyclopedia in his hand. For Uras' Will Ghost Planets See Us 2 broadcast, he spent hours researching the book. Hello everyone! Tonight with the lunar eclipse, we will see the lights of the ghost planet that has not been seen for centuries. I will be sharing all the details with you here. The moment Uras wanted to hear from the audience their predictions about the appearance of the ghost planet, Tom saw the paper on which he made the calculations in the mouth of the mischievous dog Mars. The dog and Tom started running after each other in the room. Mars, no! It's not a toy! Please, give it to me! Ah! No matter what he did, he couldn't get the paper out of his dog's mouth. He went back and wrote the numbers he remembered and the information of the planet one by one in the comments. At that moment, Ura stared in surprise at the comment. Tom, congratulations! These are exactly the coordinates of the ghost planet. 
please share your contact details with me. I will have a surprise for you. Tom was so happy that he was confused about what to do with joy. After a week of dreams, he received a letter. As soon as Tom opened the letter, he was jumping with joy because it was a registration invitation from the Space Sciences Institute. The next day, Tom and his father set off for his first day of training at the Space Sciences Institute. In the huge building, there were scientists dressed in white and many large and small telescopes. Everyone was walking around fast, doing serious calculations in front of big screens. Tom took out his camera and started shooting videos for his YouTube channel. Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. From now on, I will share my Space Sciences Institute diaries with you as a vlog. If everyone is ready, I'm getting started right now. On the one hand, Tom was examining the sky with telescopes, and on the other hand, he was describing what he saw in the video. The number of subscribers has been increasing. One day, Tom went live on YouTube, and while he was examining the stars with his telescope, he noticed a light in the sky that he had never seen before. Professor, would you please take a look? Is what I see, uh... While the professor was looking into the telescope, notification sounds were coming from the live broadcast non-stop. Oh, congratulations, Tom. You just discovered a comet. The professor enthusiastically hugged Tom. Because Tom has become the youngest scientist to discover a comet in space. This was such big news that all YouTubers started talking about Tom. An award ceremony was held for him months later. Tom was given the award by Uras Benliolu, who always supported him. You did a great job, my friend. Now you are both a scientist and a successful YouTuber. As Tom proudly held up his award amid the applause, he caught sight of his friends who didn't believe him and made fun of him. And at that moment, he made a promise to himself. He would never give up on his dreams. Because when you want and work hard, there is nothing that cannot be achieved. <laughs>